older I get, the more I think about my life, about my background, my family, and the experiences I've had, and the choices I've had to make. I think about who I am, and what has made me the man I am today. Gilbert Centre. It was opened in 2009. It was the brainchild of a wonderful lady called Agnes Gilbert. What we are is a centre for adults with physical disabilities. We're a daycare centre or a resource centre. So I firmly believe in integration in all shapes or forms because we can learn from each other hugely. The centre is invigorated and energised by having as much art and crafts around the centre. And I suppose that brings me to Tom, who is one of our amazing artists in a group called Gilbert Art, along with some other fantastic artists. He's an incredibly talented, versatile man. We're delighted that Gilbert Art comes into us every Tuesday and is an integral part of our centre here. And we have all their wonderful paintings on the walls. Tom's diagnosis is referred to as cerebral palsy. This means that the muscles on Tom's left side are tighter than those on his right. Over time, his speech has improved only because of massive determination. Everything is connected to the one spine and controlled by the one brain. But there are two different muscle patterns, one controllable, the other difficult to master. Tom has been working on these this kind of paintings now, I suppose, for quite a few years. I suppose it would have initially started with him really looking at his window at home and looking at the um, environment around him and uh, just basically painting what he saw. He likes to paint from nature directly, um, but more recently has taken to, I suppose, uh, painting from his memory um, and basing his work on maybe stuff he has seen from the past. Colors are very rich, I think, the beautiful palette of colors. He would, have, you, he would use a lot of the same kind of colors, lots of purples, burgundies, um, autumn colors, um, teal, tones of teal. They're very free, and there's a lot of movement in them. Um, initially, when he was adding, when Tom was adding texture to the paintings, he used a lot of tissue and glue to create um, an extra layer. He used to do a lot of work using tree bark as his inspiration and I think that was probably the beginning of the, the texture to the more three-dimensional aspect of the paintings. I really hope that through my painting I can bring things to life and that it may inspire others to do the same. I know I am still learning my trade, but I have a strong sense that my best work is still to be done.